Hey guys, it's me, your dad. So, April 12th. Already halfway into the first month of the second quarter of 2022. So, what's up? How goes it? How's it been so far? Uh, what positive things happened since last month? Uh, since the last video? So, uh, this year's moving fast, people. Easter's coming up. Looking forward to that. Everybody getting together. Um, so, I just want to share a little story with you guys. Uh, let's think about, of course, always think about my dad and stuff like that. But, um, you guys know that I'm, you know, working on trying to get another job and stuff like that. Different job. I like what I do. It's just that, you know, where I'm at isn't the right fit for me right now. So, uh, you know, I've been looking at other places and stuff. And I'm like, oh, man, can I work here? Can I work there? What can I do? What should I do? Right? Well, then, I was thinking about my dad and this, this story. You know, my dad used to coach girls volleyball, basketball, and track. And I was with him all the time. I was at cheering at all his games. After school, I would go to his, you know, his practices and stuff like that and just, you know, just chill and watch stuff and, you know, just hang out with my dad and stuff. Well, we used to, track was, to me, it wasn't the, it, it was like, you know, it's track. You know, people run around in a circle, people jump hurdles, you know, whatever. It's track. So, there was one story that I, that I recall and that I ne will never forget. This is girl, her name was Vernetra Allen. She played basketball, volleyball, and track for my dad for, uh, you know, the three years that she was at the high school there. Um, cause the high school is 10th, 11th, 12th grade. So she played, you know, track for my dad. And I remember this one particular, uh, event because she, she was a good athlete and she was fast and stuff. And she was getting ready to run in this race and she had finished one, probably maybe a half hour. 45 minutes prior she had finished a, you know a previous race and this race that she was going into she was uh there was a girl that was you know projected to win this girl was the fastest in in san angelo and of course you know not a ton of people in san angelo but she was the fastest there so you know i remember Vanessa going up to my dad and she's like coach she's like she's like i don't think i can race this race she goes i'm exhausted i'm tired she goes i just don't have anything left in me and she goes, I don't think I can do this race. And she's like, and he's like, you, he goes, I know you can do it. He goes, I believe that you can do it. And she's like, um, he's like, I can't. She goes, I'm physically, she goes, I'm physically beat. I'm tired. And again, she was nasty. She had, a, she was, she had done a couple of events already. This was her last for the day. And she's like, I'm going up against this girl. She's, you know, the fastest. There's no way I can beat her. And my dad told her, my dad said, look, and he knew that she was a Christian and she knew that, you know, that she had a spiritual belief and stuff like that. And so he told her, he said, look, he goes, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And that's Philippians, that the verse in Philippians in the Bible. And he, he gave her that, ver that Bible verse. And she said, you know what? She goes, you're right. She goes, I can. And she kept on stretching and kept on, you know, warming up. And then she went into that race and she ran her heart out and she came in second place. And I don't even think it was a close second place because that girl was, again, she was hella fast. Um, but she came in second place. And, you know, she came back and, you know, she hugged my dad and she's like, thanks coach, you know, I appreciate that. And this and then as she was getting her, her silver medal for that, I told my dad, I'm like, she didn't win. And he's like, he's like, you're right, she didn't win. He goes, she didn't win the race. He goes, but she won the battle that she was fighting to race. And that hit me hard because I'm like, dang. I go, he, she did not win the race, but she won the battle that she was fighting to win the race. So, you know, it doesn't matter what you believe. If you believe in, uh, you know, if you believe in the Bible, if you believe in in whatever, you know, everything's, everything's almost the same. You know, people don't, you know, they don't pray but they believe in the secret. And the secret is the same as prayer. You know, you man you say something, you speak it, you manifest it, you believe you have it, and it's gonna come to you. That energy is gonna bring it to you. That's the same thing as praying. You pray for something, you speak it, 
and you have faith, you thank God that you receive it and you have faith that you're gonna get it and then you end up getting it. It's all the same and, and everything just runs the same. So it doesn't matter what you believe in, all you have to do is believe in yourself. Just believe that you can do it, believe you can make it through the day, believe you can make it through the week, believe you can make it through the month, the year, the decade, whatever, and then you got this. You know, never take your eye off your goals. Uh, never, never stop believing in yourself to accomplish your goals and take your mind off those goals. So again, and I will never forget that girl, you know, Vernetra Allen. This was hundreds of years ago, it seems like. I'll never forget her and I'll never forget that moment because um, again, she didn't win the race, but she won the battle to race. And man, the nuggets that I took from my dad are the best. And anything that I could pass on to you guys, you know, to help you get through the day or the moment, you know, the sickness that you're going through, the illness that you're going through, the mental struggle that you're going through, anything that I could do to help you guys in that way, you know, I'm more than happy to, to do and, and help you guys with, you know. So again, you know, I love you guys. Hope you guys have a great day. That's Tuesday. Let's kill it, guys.